Hey friends, Billy from LM Cases here, and today we are going to take a look at a very cool point of sale workstation that we just finished up. So, this particular workstation is based around a square card reader point of sale system. So, um, this case is designed to be used at a variety of events as a portable cash register uh, for all intents and purposes. So uh, the main driver for this system is this square unit right here. So uh, this is the operator facing position just like this. And if we spin around to the back here, uh, this is the customer facing position. So uh, this is where customers actually insert their credit card either at the bottom or swipe it left to right. Uh, just slightly above that slot. Um, and this is actually a screen where uh, where you can actually sign uh, for the, the credit card transaction. So if you look at how we have this mounted, uh, this is an all marine grade plastic mounting solution. So the base of the unit is held uh, front to back and then there is this cross member piece that goes across it. So um, if you look, it is very, very sturdy in there. Um, it is designed to stay in this case um, and and not have to um, be removed during transport. So uh, there is one micro USB cable, if you can see it there, uh, that powers the whole system. That's the interface between uh, the square reader here and um, the rest of the system. So we tuck that wire nice and neat in there. So if you're looking at the work surface here, um, it's nice and clean. So speaking of the work surface, uh, this is a carpet lined work surface per customer request. Um, and we do have a nice little stainless steel grommet here. So if there is any cable or anything that needs to pass through the bottom, you can. Um, however, that is just, uh, just in case of future expansion. Uh, the case is designed to be used just like this. Um, it's nice and clean on the top there. Um, so looking down here um, at the interior of the case, there is a one rack U section here on top. Um, that is for a computer uh, that the customer is providing. So if you notice there's a cable there, that is an HDMI cable that we ran uh, for the monitor that's on the front, which I'll show you here in a second. So uh, moving down here, uh, there is a cash drawer. So this does function like a old school cash register. Um, and then right below that, we do have a receipt printer. So uh, following the same uh, basic mounting as the, uh, the point of sale system, uh, there is a left and right marine grade plastic bracket here that holds the uh, receipt printer on. So uh, the the table or the little slide out shelf that the, the printer is mounted on, this is built out of half inch Baltic birch, uh, finished in black texture coating. It features a nice little stainless steel pull handle right there. Um, and is mounted on heavy duty Accuride drawer glides. So uh, one of the things that the integration department did here was, see if this is out all the way, um, we built a nice little loom here. This holds the power cable and the um, USB cable that connects it to the, uh, the hub in the back. So on the outside of this loom here, there's a little RJ11 cable. Um, that cable connects it to the cash drawer. And we left that loose outside of the loom so that if you have to pull the cash drawer out, um, you have a little bit of slack on there. So uh, the, the printer stores nice and tight in there. Um, there's a small half inch piece of crosslink foam that's right on the top of this compartment that grabs the printer um, that grabs the printer uh, while it's in use. Now, one of the things we didn't want to put a strap on top of the printer uh, to store that so that if you have to uh, ch you know change the paper roll or the ribbon or anything like that in there, you can. So uh, we opted to just make it tight in the compartment so that you still have full access to the printer and you can lift it off, but it's stable enough to use. Um, so looking at the drawers, we have two small top drawers for for general storage. You can just see some paper in there. Um, and all the drawers on the case are built in the same way that we always build drawers. They are built out of half inch Baltic birch with black texture coating and heavy duty Accuride glides. Um, if you're used to our videos, Sorry for the redundancy, we build drawers the same way pretty much every time. So here's some small drawers. Um, this one just has some manuals and things in there for uh, just a perspective of size. Now the bottom larger drawers, uh, this one holds all the cash register tape. You basically get the idea for storage. So let's take a look at the front 
Well, before we take a look at the front, let's take a look at the side of the case. So power and signal are brought into the case via this custom panel. So uh, this is a Hubble 5278 inlet that is a recessed male inlet. Um, and then there's also a nitric ethercon um, RJ45 jack. So the system is designed to be either used wirelessly or through a hardwired ethernet connection. So uh, that connection is made right here at the panel so you don't have to reach around the TV. So when the case is in use, there's a nice little cable hatch that goes just like this protects everything when it's in use and you have that nice and secure so let's take a look at the back of the case so the back of the case features a fully integrated Dell 32 inch ultra sharp monitor that is mounted so that the customer can display uh, any type of digital signage that they need so this could be a menu it could be a, an event logo anything that you need on there so the door that this is that this is on is a what we call a 270 degree hinge door uh, so this is very very heavy duty hinge that allows the door to fold against the side of the case so if you want to close it all you have to do is go like this and close it up so if anybody has any questions on this case or anything else LM related you can email me direct billy at lmcases.com check us out online lmcases.com or check us out on Instagram lm underscore cases. Thanks so much. Hope you have a great day.